The HMS Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier, the lead ship of the Queen Elizabeth class, stands as a testament to British naval prowess and technological advancement. She is named in honor of the first HMS Queen Elizabeth, a World War I-era super dreadnought, which in turn was named after Queen Elizabeth I. I. The ship embodies the enduring spirit and global reach of the Royal Navy. Its construction marked a new era in British maritime history, reaffirming the nation's commitment to safeguarding its interests and upholding international security. The Royal Navy boasts a rich and illustrious history dating back to the reign of Henry VIII. The HMS Queen Elizabeth embodies this legacy of excellence, carrying forward the traditions of innovation and maritime dominance that have defined the Royal Navy for generations. You should know, guys, how impressive this carrier is at carrying the mass of payload. Imagine a colossal vessel stretching an astounding 932 feet in length, akin to three football pitches laid end to end. Its breadth, spanning 230 feet, resembles a colossal floating city block. And towering above the waves, it reaches a formidable height of 184 feet, comparable to a 16-story skyscraper. For her flight deck, she has an impressive 919 feet in length and 230 feet in width. This vast expanse can accommodate a formidable arsenal of up to 72 aircraft, including one of the best fighter jets ever, the Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning II. The F-35B Lightning II, the world's most advanced stealth fighter jet, serves as the centerpiece of the HMS Queen Elizabeth's air power. With its vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, the F-35B can operate directly from the carrier's flight deck, providing a significant advantage in terms of rapid deployment and flexibility. Powering this majestic vessel are two Rolls-Royce Marine MT-30 gas turbines, generating an astounding 110 megawatt of power. These turbines drive four electric motors, which in turn propel four propellers, enabling the carrier to reach a respectable speed of 29 miles per hour. Then, since its commissioning in 2017, the HMS Queen Elizabeth has undertaken numerous global deployments, demonstrating its ability to project British power and influence across the globe. The HMS Queen Elizabeth and its sister ship, HMS Prince of Wales, are poised to remain cornerstones of British defense for decades to come. The HMS Prince of Wales, the second ship of the Queen Elizabeth class shares many of the same design features and operational capabilities as its sister ship. During 2020, the HMS Prince of Wales was at sea just 30 days, compared to 115 days for Queen Elizabeth. Following repair, Prince of Wales departed Portsmouth Naval Base to resume sea trials on the 30th of April, 2021. In October 2021, the Royal Navy declared the ship as fully operational. That's all, guys. Thanks for watching.